Hi all, so this is take two of a Timu haul. Um, I've already opened it because take two. So just bear with me a second while I move stuff. Now, you will have to bear with me today um, on today's haul because normally I film on my phone. There's loads of stuff. But normally I film on my phone. And this week I have managed to completely and utterly smash it to smithereens. So I'm using an iPhone 5, my old one. And look, I'm even having to rest on a nail box, but I'm having to film on my tablet. Now I did film earlier on my iPhone 5, which then cut the video short at 18 minutes, chucking me off completely, because the memory was full. So we're having to do a take two, which isn't all bad because my dog, who I have quietened down with a bone, decided to paddy his butt off because <clears throat> he's absolutely chucking it down. He wanted to go out and he doesn't like the rain. But go figure. So I am starting all over again, so please bear with me because... It's a little hard to film with my tablet resting on a box, but I really want to play with the stuff I've got, so I'm going to see how we go. And let me just grab my phone. I was planning to read the prices off. I took screenshots of everything, so hopefully I should be able to refer to them for prices, and we will go from there. So first up, oh, let me find my pictures. This is going to take a while. I am so sorry. <sighs> but first up, anyway, I got <clears throat> two of these. There's, there's not a lot of room, but they shut quite strong. So they're, they're good for gems or if I'm traveling. <clears throat> and I picked up two of these. And they were only 57 pence each. It is quite a big haul and there is a lot of stuff. So please just bear with me. This is nothing like Elia's video. Um, I got one of these. Normally I'd keep ticks or foils in some of these. But at the minute, I oh, and I have a bigger one too with more storage if you can see that. Let me just, there you go. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I like the Korean videos. And what was I saying? I have no idea what I was saying. Something to the Korean videos. Now, I have some of these ones as well. And this is a 49 grid one. Um, I use them a lot for my charms for my gems but I have the smaller ones so it'd be nice if I could have you know just one for one and one for the other and my math sucks apparently counting them because it's a 56 grid box and these were 198 each and I got two of those so plenty of space it'd just be nice if I could have them separated you know gems and then charms because I have a thing for the charms and I tend to collect quite a lot of them. So we have some cherry charms. And please excuse my nails. I am growing them. It is a very slow process because I am a nail biter. And my nails just, I don't know, they just don't seem to flow very well. But that's the cherry charms. This is a little bit out of focus. I really do apologise. This is not going to be the best film video in history. Whatsoever. And those were... <clears throat> 98 pence for the pack. So overall, quite good value. And this little pot... If I can open it. Is a black chrome. 
Now I've seen somebody else swatch it and she tried swatching it on a clear and it kind of gave a smoky effect. So it might be one you just need to put over a black anyway. And that was 98 pence. And where are we next? Ah, I got some Sanrio charms. There's my Melody, there's Karomi, there's Cinnamon Roll. There's quite a few of those. Now I do not believe those. Those are 20 pieces for 89 pence. And I did end up getting four packets. So I think it's nice to have extras for, you know, trying new designs out and then some for actually putting the designs on people. So if I balls it up and it doesn't really matter. Here's some more little cuties. These are also resin charms. There's some little pigs, some bunnies, some chicks and some frogs. And that's my thumbnail. So they're fairly a decent size actually. I'm glad they're smaller rather than larger. Um, I got some nice angel papers. Now these were 48 pence each. So I did grab a couple. I have that yellow one. I have a bluey pinky one. And that one actually seems to be the same colour. I was hoping for it to be different, but 48 pence. I'm glad my sheen order finally came. It did that part of it did actually come last week, but it came in two separates. And these are Aurora powders. I've got a yellow tinted one and a pink. Now these Hmm. Sorry, I'm having to flick through the pictures to try and find the prices. If I'd have had any sense, I'd have put them on afterwards, but no sense. So there we are. These were 98 pence each. And if I can show you my hand, they're a fairly big bottle. I mean, a little of that goes a heck of a long way, so they will be lasting quite a while. I got some more poppets for my gel polishes on top of my balls. And my God, I got these in a different order from Sheen. These are so hard to paint neatly, or at least for me in any case. I can be a bit messy, but I just found them really awkward. But those were 120 for 134. And this is a lovely nail art palette on one side We've got it really nice and smooth. And on the flip side, you've got all the leaf indents and it's sparkly, it's quite rough, but I think it would be nice to display a set of nails on. And that was 199. I was so happy when I was actually watching another nail art video. Ooh, that was a palette and a stamper. Now, I remember that being quite cheap. That was 37 pence. Now, I ruin my stampers quite regularly because I like to do the, you know where you put white acrylic paint on your stamper and then you put your powders over it and then crack it. And I really like that effect on nails, but it does tend to ruin your stampers, to be perfectly honest. But it does give a really nice thing. Now these are all water droplets next, or what I'll call water droplets. Anyway, these, these were only 44 pence. They did have a lot more colours, but I just, I limited myself to a few because I didn't really need them all. So that one's like, they're like pearls, but stupidly more pearlescent. And I have a purple one. But yeah, I saw... I was watching a video, I believe it was Nails by Gigi. And she was saying that she was doing a team haul. Now, I always thought it was only US, so I was so damn happy. And as soon as she mentioned it, I was straight on going through the stuff and putting an order in. And I love that it's got new sales on at the minute with it just coming to the UK. And when you order something, and you go to pay, it gives you the total it would have been, your total, your discount, and then what you're actually paying for. And 
I ended up getting £400 worth of stuff for £90. So I definitely cannot complain. I've got some rose gold caviar beads. There's all different sizes in there. I'm not sure if you can make those out. And I got some gunmetal black ones. Because I have the usual gold and silver. But it would be nice for some different colours on some of the designs. But I absolutely love sites like Wish and... AliExpress and Sheen and Timu for the prices because I think it's a great way to try nail art without spending a fortune because then if what you're trying is a disaster you've not really wasted a lot of money on it and please excuse Chip it is still raining like it was earlier and he's still paddying because he wants to play in the garden and he does not like the rain so I got some angel paper slices that one's pinky greeny purpley now, I thought I got other colours, but apparently I have gotten two slightly different shades of blue. One seems to go like a reddy and one's like a, a goldy. But I got these for like winter and ice nails, which I know is quite a long way off. But if I can get them now while they're cheap, then I have them. Now these, Chippina, these, my daughter took her to the finger condoms when she saw them with her new lash. What they are is like a rubber tip for when you're soaking off your nails so you put your pad on and then fit these on now these are actually a nice snug fit now i have the clips and for soaking off and i've got the fat i've got the bowls and i've used this in foil but a lot of the time I'm wandering around doing other stuff while I'm soaking off. So I thought they'd be pretty good because then at least I can still use my fingers while I'm going. This one is just a clear poly gel. I don't think that cost... I think I want to say that was like 98 pence. But I'm not entirely sure. Oh, those finger condoms, by the way, were 58 pence. They were really cheap. Now, the poly gel. Good lord, this is taking a while. Um, that's because I have so much pages of stuff. I can't actually find the price on that, but I could almost swear that was only 98 pence. And I got a liner. I think these were about 150. And I really liked the pink. So... I figured it was worth a try. I mean, you can always line your designs with the gel polishes you've already got because it says spending extra money on stuff you don't need. Oh, and that was one ninety eight. But sometimes I'm just too lazy to get my actual brushes out. So I figured I'd try a liner. And this is, I'd call it like a stippling brush. And I got one to, but I got two different ones to try. They were different sizes. So I got this one, oops, which is the one I've just showed you, and then a slightly bigger version. At the minute, I absolutely love watching the Korean nail art videos, and a lot of them use them for not quite an ombre, but if they're making like a moon on the nail, then they stipple in the center so it fades out, and it kind of, I don't know, gives it almost like a more realistic look and they were only 48 pence each so i fancied giving it a try <clears throat> now i have some more resin charms there's teddy bears there's little dinosaurs there's froggies i don't quite remember what the little pink one was oh there you go these also went a lot of money. I really like these resin charms at the minute. It's just a little something different. These were 98 pence. I have some diamond silver crosses. These were 89. Um, I got these with my daughter in mind because she's one of my biggest guinea pigs. There you go. See, it's a really nice size even on a natural nail and you can see there the back is actually curved so it actually does fit nicely on a nail I, mean, I have quite flat nails so not necessarily nicely on that one and these were a big favorite for me 
little resin skulls. Now, as I said, my daughter's like one of my guinea pigs. And she has such, these are 198 for 30, by the way. She has such a range in, in tastes when it comes to nails. I mean, she can go all girly, pink and barley fried one minute, right to full on goth extreme the next. So she's fun to experiment on. I think one of my favourite sets of nails I did out was actually um, a black almondy stiletto set with studs and chains and diamond skulls and all sorts. But she's fun to experiment on. And I got a pack of Spangle Stars glittery ones. These were only 44 pence. And that's like a full, almost a full hand sized packet. But for some reason, I've got. The normal five point stars i just didn't seem to have any of those and a lot of the stuff i bought was just a case of wow that is so cheap so i'll give it a go because when stuff's i think when stuff's cheaper especially for nail art because a lot of it can be expensive you don't you don't mind giving it a go because then if it's crap god awful or bad quality then you've not you've not wasted a lot of money on it and this stamping plate I took an instant like to, I think it showed it online with like a a burgundy deep red background with a gold pattern on. But I really like the swells and these motifs here. And even these would be nice, you know, the corner pieces going up a nice square nail. And I do not think that that was a lot of money either. Pretty much everything I got is under two pound. I'm not sure if there is anything actually over two pound. That was 98 pence. I think the most expensive things I got were actually the storage. Now these little suckers. These I have seen on AliExpress and they come in a lot smaller packets. But I honestly did actually expect them to be a bit bigger. That is in no way a complaint though, because I'm definitely glad that they're smaller because they will fit better on the nail. But they had, this is a wine bottle ones. I mean, that's that's it next to my natural nail. But they also had like um, a crevassier bottles. And I think there was a brandy or a whiskey bottle, but they were just too cute to pass up. So I didn't get all three though, I did limit myself, and that's 10 of them for 148. These are absolutely teeny tiny little glass hearts. And I've seen on some of the Korean nail trends, you know where they have the uh, almost a clear um a clear almost a clear colour on the nail, and then they have you know, like the, the blushing spot in the middle where it's a slightly darker colour. I've seen those and they've put these in the centre and it kind of makes this glow and colour. But I've also, in the same respect, seen people paint the back of them before sticking them on to also give them colour. And you get a hundred of those for 44 pence. So they will actually go a fairly long way. Now, what else did I get? Ah. This is, you know, like the Swarovski Pixie Crystals. This is Timu version, and I got a black one just to give it a try. And it definitely sparkles. I do think the Pixie Crystal is probably smaller than what these are, but just for a little added extra something on a design, definitely good. And I got three, three different packs of flowers. Oh, and those pixie crystals were one ninety eight, by the way. But yeah, I got three different packs of flowers. Some of them I'm happy with. Some of them, not so much to be honest. Because in some cases I was just expecting a little more. I mean, these are one forty three, and I mean, as you can see, you get a fair amount of flowers in that one. That I'm happy with, even with the leaves, because I'm wanting for milk bath nails. But the other two, I was a little disappointed with, because it's like this one, there's like two flowers in it. For the money, it's good, and I, 
I couldn't, I didn't really expect, you know, a box crammed full of flowers for the money. But I just think it would have been nice to have a little more than two flowers in it. And even now I'm complaining I really shouldn't because it's, it's still good value. It's something to try. But I'm glad that I only paid one forty three for these and not more money because I would have been pretty damn cheesed off to be honest. I mean, you see some of those packs on eBay and they're like, give me that. They're like $4.99 and stuff like that. And I would have not have been happy if I'd have paid that at all. all right, these I will get out of the bag in a second. I'm just nosing around and looking for prices again. Although at this point, that really is probably a lost cause. But I think these were one of the more expensive things I bought. I just really like them. I do, I do do flower designs with acrylic, you know, on top of the nails. But sometimes I also like to make my life easier and I'm very lazy. Okay, so on a big nail, that would probably be okay. You've got your flowers and there's like a cluster on top with the pearl. These were actually 10 for 128. Uh, one second it says 10 oh my bad it's five pieces there's 10 different colors i was about to say that and they've only sent me half a packet that's what i get for not reading the descriptions now these my daughter's developed an obsession with vivian westwood lately the last ones i had from sheen were microscopically tiny so i saw these on timu and instead of like a planet it's like a heart and I thought, oh, wow, she'll love them. But they are damn ginormous. So, honestly, it has gone from one extreme to the absolute other. I mean, okay, this is on a stumpy natural nail, but still, it is very bulky as well, if you can see how high off it comes. The back also isn't curved, so it's it might be hard to stick into the nails. I mean, for the people who can live with the bulkier designs on the nails, then it doesn't really matter. But I don't think it will be everybody's cup of tea. Now, these are some hair back hearts. Again, I want to try some of the Korean designs I'd seen, which is why I got these. But I was actually expecting these to be bigger than what they are. And there's a whole mix of colours. Oh, I like the purple one. Oh, there may yet be a take three of this video because it's not, not focusing very well. Right, these are just some cheap mixed pack of blue gems I got. Um, I'd seen a design I really wanted to try in navy and shades of blue. So these just cost 68 pence. They are plastic kit, and I am not that impressed with them, to be honest. But for doing design nails or a design I'm just putting on YouTube, I don't really mind would I put them on a person. I do not know, to be honest. Now, these are bumblebees. I have some enamel ones from Sheen, which are smaller. Oh, it's hollow in the back. Okay. I like that. That means you could fit it, actually stuff it full. Gel glue, and that is the little golden bumblebee. We do little white wings. I've not done a bee design yet, and I know a lot of people did them last year. I was just very late off the mark and very, very lazy. But these were only 98 pence for 10. And this pack, this pack, this is one I expected to be a lot bigger. There's hearts, shields, pentagram. I ordered it for the crosses because she wants a set of cross nails. But honestly, you can see that's my pinky finger, for goodness sakes. So these are a lot smaller than I thought. I mean, okay, my pinky nail belly extends off my finger and that basically fills it. But again, they were a lot of money, so... It's not really that bad. These, uh, I'm onto stickers now. I'm actually nearly done. This video is taking a lot less time than earlier. But this, 
these are the butterfly stickers. Now I've seen these on Sheen and I've seen them on Wish. They are, let me get a pinky there. They are smaller than I thought they'd be, but they are absolutely stunning. I do like those. I'm a big sucker for butterflies. So anything butterflies in it, yes please. And these, I thought I'd ordered a pink, but apparently not. So I have a blue one. And she used to love brats. So I wouldn't mind doing a brat set of nails. And I have a green one. It's just a shame the pink one's missing. But I am liking that. I've got some lovely green glitters from Kylie Aweri, which should go super with these. She does like dazzle glitters. And there's some stunning colours, but there's like a really nice dark green fine glitter that you put down first. And then you put the dazzles over. And my God, the depth of colour is absolutely stunning. And I've got some glitter stripes. Now, they did have these where it was like um, like a multi-glittered Aurora glitter. But it was out of stock. So, I got a silver one to try because normally I paint my lines on. But I would like to have a go. I have some more cherry blossom stickers to add to about the 10 other packs I've got. But I like my stickers. And I have some more flower ones. These are more autumn shaded. And if they're anything like the Sheen stickers, they will stick really well and they're very good quality. Sheen actually surprised me at the quality of their stickers when I first tried them. Now I have like three books full of them. And I got some spring tulips. I like these ones because they would sit at the base of the nail and then, you know, go up towards the cuticles. It'd be like a full nail piece. These are raised. I don't know if you can see that, but they're slightly 3D. But I just like them for Halloween. I love the little crows and the naughty black cats. They're just adorable. And I have some more skulls, some more cutesy ones, but they were just too adorable. I absolutely love this one. And the little spiders with the bow. I absolutely fucking hate spiders. But that one's cute because it's got a bow on it. Go figure. If I saw one in real life, I'd probably scream my damn head off and then wet myself. And some more, not so cutesy, but I do like these on a shorter nail. They'd almost fill it. But my thought was for the ones like these, place them in the center of the nail. And then, you know like the, have I got one next to me? You know like the Aero Puffers? Please ignore the mess on that one. So then I'd put the nail sticker in the center and then using a sponge or that, I'd dot black around the edges. So it kind of faded into the center of the sticker. So it looked like it was coming out of a void. That might not work. It might be a complete bloody disaster, but it's an idea. And my last one, this is actually, I know Christmas of all things. This is actually a pack of six. And the, these were only 198 for six. So I figured what the hell. It is nowhere near Christmas. But for some reason, I have stickers for every time of the year, apart from Christmas. So, I just thought they'd be cute. Oh, I like the little reindeer. I tried to paint reindeers last year on a couple of set of nails. And it does not matter how many tutorials I watched, what a goddamn disaster. What a disaster. Um, not from Timu. Oh, and look, Chip got to the post before I did. I came back in the front door to find that. I was lucky he hadn't opened it. But I'm going to do a swatch on these later on. Um, this one is a black and red chrome. And that one, I do believe is yellows and golds that go to a brown, if I'm remembering rightly. Because I'd seen a nail video that did like, I don't know, it was almost like the color of a nail, the color of like a, a strong brandy with them, um, like a mica pigment running through it. It's absolutely beautiful. But yes, so this is my very big pile of nail stuff I'm waiting to be played with. Thank you all for watching. 
I am sorry if it was out of focus a lot of the time, but it has been one of those days. I did one take on my phone, which threw me off. My own fault for destroying my phone, quite frankly. And it is destroyed. It is so cracked. The screen just flickers. I can't even work it anymore. But I will see how this looks after it's done. If it isn't too terrible, I will post it. If it's terrible, I will be filming for a third time. Hopefully not half an hour long. And me ranting the entire time in the background and boring you all. But for those of you that made it to the end of the video, thank you very much for listening to my rant. And I will post some designs soon with all my goodies. Thanks for watching. Bye.